Hey, what's up? What's going on, YouTube? Um, welcome back to my channel. So today I have with me right here the um, Dell XPS, sorry, the Dell UltraSharp uh, 24, 27 4K monitor. And as you can see, this is quite a big box. Um, it is, the, it is there, Dell has several 4K monitors, um, but this is one of the, and, and they have an ultra sharp line, and the ultra sharp line, I guess, is the more pre premium line that they have for their productivity um, monitors. Of course, they, own, they also sell gaming monitors. And while I was, while I am into gaming, um, my primary focus of this is for office applications. So um, that's why I got this uh, 27 um, inch monitor, and it had to be um, 4K. Yeah, because I'm someone who really, you know. Uh, me, I to to see sharp text. I, I like to see the sharp text, um, and uh, yeah, a, a full HD or even a 2K monitor would, would cut it for me. I previous I ordered the 2K version of this by mistake, so when the delivery guy came, I was so sorry, but I, I had to ask him to send it back to the factory or wherever it went because I wanted the 4K. So anyway, just gonna show you what is in the box today, and I'll come back with the review later. So as you can see over here. Yeah, it's a very handsome box, um, and uh, there's not much over here, but you can see the dimensions right here. It's the U2723QE. It says it has these cables inside, all these uh, USB-C cables, and it goes up to, um, yeah, it's 24 inches wide, 27 inches diagonally, and the height is a max of 21 inches. And so this is the Dell UltraSharp 4K USB-C monitor. And as for the side of the box, you can see here, um, yep, 27 inches 4K. And this is one of the this is one of the latest monitors that came out. It's the it is not OLED or AMOLED, but it has a Display HDR. So I believe this was released uh, late last year, uh, sometime in November, I guess, November 2021. So it's fairly new and it's fairly pricey. Uh, it's uh, below the gaming range, but I guess it's somewhere near the top of the office range. So here you can see the back of the box. And it says right here, stunning color HDR performance and low blue light for eye comfort. Now let me unbox it and uh, show you what is in the box. Okay, so opening this box up. Um, oh. Right here, let's see what you have in front, and the monitor has toppled. Oh no, okay, but never mind. It was, uh, it was located like this. Let me just set this down so I can put it back right up. I had no idea it would topple over like that. Mm. Okay, so right at the bat, you have the manual. It shows you how to install the thing. It has a stand, and uh, let me just... Take this out. And there's a factory calibration report over here. And here we have a US. Where is it? Oh, here, here we go. USB C cable. Okay, my gimbal is behaving weird. Okay, we have this USB C cable here. We have another USB-C cable. We have an HDMI cable. All right here, you can see the HDMI inputs. And we have a power cable. This is the UK plug that's used in Singapore. And what do we have in here? I guess this would be the stand. Oh, yep, this is the base. So it's a pretty heavy base. And you just attach it to the uh, to the monitor. All right, this is the monitor itself. It actually looks a whole lot smaller than in the box. So let me just go ahead and take it out and see what it looks like.
Hmm. Let me just set it down for a bit. I need two hands um, to take the monitor out. Also so that I don't break anything. Wow, it's nice. And is it matte? Yeah, I think it's a matte monitor. I expected it to be glossy. It is matte. So it's a very simple panel. And the bezels are super thin. I got it because there's no Dell logo here. Um, most of the Dell monitors, especially the cheaper ones, even if they're 4K, they have the thick bezel at the bottom. I don't know why, but this one doesn't have. It's matte. It isn't glossy, which is a little bit disappointing. Uh, but let me set it up, and uh, once I'm done, I will show it to you. Okay, so this is the ultra sharp 27-inch um, 4K panel. Um, I'm showing this to you before I set it up. Setting it up was, I mean, before I connect it to my PC. So setting it up was really easy. There were only three pieces, the bottom part, the base, and the stand here individually wrapped, and the screen itself. So all I need to do is you need to connect this. It's just a snap-on thing, and you also snap on um, these, um, the stand to the four kind of latches in the screen. So that's all. It's super simple and super easy. You can see that it's very sleek and very slim. The only thing is that I would have preferred a glossy panel, even a glossy panel sleeve fingerprints, because, yeah, I'm not really a big fan of matte, because they're not as clear um, as glossy screens. But, well, it is what it is. And um, this screen can be rotated vertically. So it is very, uh, it is very cool looking that a computer monitor can do this. I know a lot of Dell monitors do this, but it's my first time actually buying a monitor. So, yeah. And you can see here that you can adjust the uh, angle as well. Not the angle, the height. So the height is right here. And you can you can slide it, the monitor up and down. But this height works for me, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep it. Okay, so I'm gonna connect it to my computer and show you what it looks like. Okay, and here it is now. Here is my new setup. I used to be working out of this. So I was for the longest time, I was hooked up to a TV, and. Um, I was working with my laptop connected to a 40 inch TV, but because of a new work from home benefit, I decided to get this monitor um, that, you know, part of, the, part of the cost is provided by by the company. And um, I got this Aftershock uh, desktop. It's a gaming desktop, but it's obviously also good for work um, to go along with it. Uh, there's going to be a separate video on the um, Aftershock that's, I think it's only available in uh, Singapore and Australia, but anyway, if you want to, you know, get a custom uh, pre-built, I guess it's kind of um, oxymoronic, but um, this is a pre-built custom desktop, basically, that you can purchase. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's very, very simple to, um, to, to, to set up uh, this monitor. And so what I did was that there are tons of ports at the bottom. Um, it's a bit hard to show you from here, but because they're all underneath the, the set. But as you can see, there, there is a USB-C port, there's a USB port, and there are several other USB ports as well over here. Mm, right under the monitor. And at the back of the monitor, let me just turn it around so you can see it. Yep. In the back of the monitor, you, there is a port for the power cable on this side and also right here <coughs> at the very back. There is something for you to control. That we, maybe you can see the uh, sort of bring it up right here. Mm. Yeah, so, the, yeah, all right, yes, this part here shows you the control panel, so this toggles the menu, and this toggles the power. So when you push the menu, when you push the menu button right here, this is how you control the, um, the Dell UltraSharp 27-inch monitor. You can see brightness contrast. Input source, the color. Um, right off the bat, when you turn the screen on, it asks you, "Do you want to have, um, you know, always on USB power?" 
If you do, it'll consume more power. If you don't, it'll conserve power. So I turned it off. But if you want to, you can turn it on. And as for the HDR, this is HDR as well. If you turn the display, the smart HDR on, it will use more power. Uh, but it, it, the preset is off. But I, I turned it on because I like HDR. Um, yeah, and it, it comes with lots of USB-C ports. So technically, you can connect two different computers to it. And it should it, it will work fine. You can connect both a laptop, a laptop and a desktop. Uh, oops, sorry, to this monitor, and uh, they will work just fine. So um, I hope this uh, video helped you. It's a very simple uh, video of a uh, of a good monitor. It's a 4K uh, monitor. And um, let me know if you've got any questions or comments in it. I'll see you in the next video.